Good morning. This is the view outside of my tent area on the morning of the fourth day on the Bruce Trail. Water procurement has been a real problem because all the streams, even the waterfalls, are dried up in this particular area in the fall. I'm heading to Balls Falls and a lovely young lady walking her dog Penny this morning, a Bernese Poodle Mix, or no, Bernese Labrador Mix, anyway, told me that there's a restaurant at Balls Falls. That will be very exciting. Well, it does not pay to be overconfident. I thought I was doing great today. I thought I was going to have a short day, get to Balls Falls, visit the restaurant, and um, things did not turn out that way. Somehow, I got turned around. I don't know how it happened. There was a, a little village, I guess, where some yahoos had blacked out the uh, Bruce Trail markers, but you could still see where they were blacked out. So I, I don't know if that's where I got turned around, but I seem to have been following what I thought were the markers on the right trail. And I am right back at the entrance to Short Hills, where I was yesterday, out of water, and stopping by that lovely lady's house to get two liters of water. So I have backtracked. I hate to think how many kilometers and have to now redo those kilometers and more. So this is not going to be a short day. It's very frustrating. Maybe I'll figure out uh, what I did wrong on the way back. It's not the first time this has happened to me and I have survived and I will survive this. So just more exercise, just more training and I am determined to do great. So this is Dana, uh, from one Dana to another, and Dana saved my life today because I was totally out of water and uh, dehydrated and dragging, and I was not gonna make it to the next source of water, and Dana very kindly brought out two jugs of water to fill me up, and she told me that this property here her husband's family has a, a long history. So would you tell me about that history, Dana? Sure, Dana. Um, so our family, my husband's family, has been on the property for over 200 years. Wow. Um, my wonderful sister-in-law has a winery right next door to us. What's it called? Uh, the winery is Sue Ann Staff Estate Winery. We, so, so, how do you spell that? Uh, S-U-E-A-N-N. -E uh -huh. So like a name, Sue yep, Ann. just Sue Ann, Staff Estate Winery. She's been making wine for over 20 years and is award-winning. And, wow. And it's lovely to be mm. able to walk next door to get a bottle of wine. No kidding. Um, but we are graced and have had the pleasure of this absolutely beautiful stunning property that has been in the family for 200 years. Um, my husband's family came from Lincolnshire, England and landed here in the town of Lincoln. Wow. Um, this is actually Jordan, Ontario. Uh, we are also very lucky to have the Bruce Trail uh, that actually used to go through our property, but we had to stop it. Yes. I just heard a really interesting story just the other day, actually, that the Bruce Trail used to go through, uh, technically through my in-law's house. Oh. 
that a hiker showed up at the door and he wanted to specifically go through the Bruce Trail and their house was actually through it, um, but he didn't, so that was good. Uh, but we are, we are very lucky to have all of this uh, in our backyard. Yes, wonderful. Yeah, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. That's but terrific. Where can we find Sue Ann's wines? So Sue Ann's wine, uh, some of them can be found in the LCBO. She has two different lines in her wine, mm -hmm. uh, so two different branding. She's the fancy farm girl. Oh. And she also has the estate label. So the estate label is uh, all named after particular members of the family. Oh. Uh, the whites are named after deceased members of the family, and the reds are named after things on the farm. Wow. So a chestnut tree, or the big bank barn, uh -huh. or the grit stone. Okay. Um, and it's always wonderful to come out here because everything that you taste off of uh, in the winery is from the property and everything has a, a great little story to it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Well, you're welcome, Dana. Do you have any idea how hard it is to walk by these beautiful Concord grapes and not taste them. I can actually smell them. It's fantastic.